All right, Spectre Senensi here with Spectre FedSen. In a lot of the videos, I was like actually commenting on your name more than mine. So uh, we're here for a brand new type of bat rep. Uh, for those that are linked with Mini Wargaming, we're going to support them and do a little bit of uh, dark potential. Um, we both uh, have gotten invested in this. We're very excited about the game. We're going to do the starter box uh, type of battle. We don't have any, well, I have a little bit more extra, but we're just getting Spectre Fedson into the game. I'm going to be playing the Petro Morales Corporation. You have... I've got the Reclaimer Faction starter set, thanks to my brother here as a birthday <laughs> present, uh, to get things started. Right, so um, I have watched a lot of the videos that uh, Matt has put on there with Dan and Dave. Uh, so I'm pretty familiar with that. I know Owen's got a couple of ones going on with that, but uh, we're pretty new at this. This is going to be my first game, Inspector Fedson's first game, so no advantages really whatsoever in that aspect that uh, to kind of throw down. We're in a, in a pretty much a snow world board, so we don't have the typical cityscape that you've been seeing a lot of uh, mini war game do for their bat reps. We'll probably plan one a little bit better in the future with more of the city stuff looking at that aspect there. So it's going to be like a wilderness scrounge. Reclaimers coming down and checking that out. We're just going to do straight little quick battle. Uh, this is going to be a bit of a, a learning process for ourselves. Um, so we're not going to do any of the scenarios right now that are on the site. Again, we're just walking into it. We want to introduce, introduce you guys to the game as well. Yeah, it's uh, getting us. We're expanding. You know, we don't want to limit our options just to the 40k, just to the War Machine uh, realm of things. X-wing. Um, the more games, uh, the better. Yep. Keeps things uh, busy. But uh, Dark Potential looked like a, an excellent game. We both support Mini War Gaming and what they've done, and uh, you know, it looks like they've got a, a decent little game that they're putting together here. So, uh, you know, we're gonna try it out. It's new. Uh, we'll probably make plenty of uh, yes. mistakes in the beginning <laughs> as we get ready uh, <laughs> to yeah. go. So, feel free to throw comments in the bottom for uh, rules clarification to help us out. Uh, you know, any experiences that you've come across that uh, you see that we didn't uh, handle right. Um, so, this bat rip will definitely be a you know, a learning tool for us, and then hopefully the any subsequent bat reps that you see for Dark Potential right. from us will be uh, more refined. And a geek aspect for me, I'm a big geek follower of geek. Uh, I play a lot of different games, and this and this not this video is kind of a walk into that type of a realm. So I really want you guys to really you know subscribe to us, comment, make make some uh, make some noise to us so we know what we're looking at. Uh, I've just really discovered there's a lot more um, characters involved. I'm a pretty good converter. Um, I can find models that will help this because I know the second wave isn't launched until probably next year. So we can do um, a little bit more of that, seasonals, models, if you're interested. I know um, you usually see uh, replicated units in um, the bat reps at Mini Wargaming. We're willing to try to push the grounds for that. If you guys are excited with Dark Potential, as we are, um, we're definitely going to try to do a few more of these, but we really want to make sure your interest is there. Um, I know X-Wing is doing very popular for us, but we really want to see if those other things happen as well as, of course, 40K. Um, but again, let us know what's going on. That's what we're here for. We're going to try to entertain you. So let's see exactly what Dark Potential has in store for us. Let's throw down and uh, hope you guys enjoy. All right. All right, I'm going with a two-pronged approach. You see on the left flank, I have my forward observer. And he is accompanied by the Redeemer. And then on the other side of the river, next to the other bridge, the commander is a second prong with his squad of four. So we're hoping to flank and show success in that route. We'll see how it goes. All right. Once we comment it again, these aren't a lot of buildings, so there's a lot of difficulty in moving, so we try to give a couple of lanes so there's not direct line. Uh, I'm pretty much staying close together with the sniper. He's going to kind of guard the left flank as best and best as possible, and we're going to try to move forward. Uh, cool thing about Petro Morales is that we have smoke, so we can kind of change and control the lanes. So we'll see exactly how that plays out. Once again, I've only seen a couple of these tactics in play. Now to try to really experience it and see what happens, uh, you'll, you're here to enjoy exactly how much I falter in that aspect. Turn one. All right, I got my first squad over here, and uh, Ford Observer has got a movement of seven. The Redeemer he's with only has a movement of six, but that's okay because he usually lags behind with the ability as of launching his weapon. So. 
We're going to go ahead and just trudge forward over the bridge. I don't really have much options. I got the uh, short end of the straw for my uh, setup here. And heavy weapon. I did forget to mention that in the first turn, though, there's uh, the really can only really can't shoot that far. I can't see you. Anymore. Yeah, it's a fog of wars. The new. Uh, oh, just get the, the new battle. Yeah, because so they gives found everybody a chance to. Yeah, they've been finding it was a little too too lethal too early. Well, that's good. So if like if you had set up straight across me, we right, here. I wouldn't be able to just pluck you out of this guy. All right. All right. So my commander and his squad have a movement of seven each. So we will go ahead and just. Trudge forward on the bridge here, taking the command point with them. And yeah, let's not get sniped. So, commander's gonna hug the wall. Alright, movement phase for the reclaimers is complete. Like I said, there'll be really no shooting at this stage. Uh, just a second chance, just to make sure we're going on. We have uh, the director leading the um, the recruits with the the um, heavy weapon specialist. Um, so they've dropped grenades down. The black just represent. We just put this one down here so you can kind of see a little bit more visual of the blocking of um, the smoke area. The sniper didn't really move. He's going to, like I said, cover the left. So he went up, he bent a command point and went on to Overwatch. That's what that really is representing there for us as well. And that's it. Round two. Turn two. All right, turn two here. And uh, we got some movement. My guys can't really see anybody here, so let's go ahead and move the squad first. Again, movement seven. And we're going to work our way through the forest. Moving through the forest. Commander, being cautious, hoping nobody salutes him in the battle so the sniper doesn't pick him out of the bunch. Move behind. Forward observer. Can those guys see the sniper? Nope. Okay. See his overwatch token. That ain't good enough. Nope. Not token don't mean nothing. of the bridge, letting his buddy do all the uh, scouting for him. Uh, I've got no one in my line of sight because there's smoke. I do see the smoke. Trees and mountains are blocking the sniper, so end of my turn. Alright, well, uh, pretty much, again, my uh, Spectre Fence is a bit of a noob. It's been a long time since he's actually played a lot of these tabletop games. So, kind of aiming to keep out of the sniper's way. Um, we're going to leave him for a second. He just kinda, jinked himself, by the way. <laughs> he's going to kind of, the director's going to kind of move himself into position. But he's got to be kind of careful. we got some guys that are, are able to see some things. So, he's going to move up. And so he can see those guys in there. And we're going to move up the initiates help give some more support and oh, we'll bring up we'll bring up the fireball dude so we have that and I'm going to sacrifice some of my movement to get up here yeah and what's the limitations for climbing ah uh, it's like double the move Unless you're a special like your guys, which can have someone have grab packs and yes. they just they get to go right up the inches as if they're regular movement. So that's pretty good with that. All right, let's see some of the shooting in its majority of effect. We'll start basically with um, well, we'll start with a sniper because we want to see how how well he can go with this. So range is very important. That's 27. And we have to look up a little bit of the stats going on because we're pretty new with this. So sniper has a range of six. 
So double up the 12, which would be minus 1. Um, then double again, which would be minus 2. That's for, that's for the sniper. Yep, yeah, that would be 24. So sniper has a range characteristic of 13. So that makes it down to an 11. And the, like the 4 observer... As an armor of four. So, what did you say? It was 11? 11. So now it's down to seven. So I need seven or lower to see if I can hit him. And fire. And that hits him. And that the other thing. Spectre Wiley would be good at this game because it requires rolling low. Well, yeah, Spectre Wiley may um, <laughs> roll poorly going rolling higher. After that. He never actually rolls with me. So. Rate of fire one, so he can't hit him more than than what he did. So he's basically he's just hit for the for the shot. It is a D3 wound weapon. So we'll see exactly if I can wound him. Um. All right, so he is range 27. The range of the sniper is 10. Uh, so we basically hit him on the. I hit him with a 5 anyways, regardless, but the range modifier is, is not as severe as it was, so it's only minus 1. Alright, so I need, he is a strength 6 weapon versus armor 1, so it's going to be a 5 or less to wound him. And that is definitely a wound. Now the weapon does a d3 amount of wounds, and he has 3 wounds. And two. that's going to be 2, or I can gamble, spend a command point to see if I kill him. I'm going to try to see if this game goes quicker, so Sniper's spending his command point. I'm going to re-roll. And it doesn't count in the water, but it will not count that. It's in the water. So it stayed the same. So we'll, we'll actually uh, we'll keep it as that. So he'll have two wounds on him. So the um, Observer will have to take a morale test. His morale is eight, but he suffered two wounds, so now it's a six. And the weapon is demoralizing, so he suffers one more, so he needs to roll a five or less. On how many dice? Two dice. And a wow. two. Wow! He is not giving up on that that part of that there. But he's got two wounds. <laughs> How's that for a noob? <laughs> so, that stays with that. All right. Well, the commander is going to lead this, this brigade. He is... 26 away from that model there. Poor hapless soul. He just wandered himself into the woods. Um, all right, um, so I'm gonna fire into that 26. Uh, the range of the weapon uh, again was... Let's see what it and we basically determined that light terrain such as trees per the rules is considered a level one, which goes towards the armor score of my squad. All right, so six, 12, so it's gonna be minus two to shoot at the range that he's trying to fire at. He is uh, range 13, so again, it's 11. Um, the defense of your recruits is, sorry, we have to keep looking everything up. I have all this stuff printed up next time. Uh, defense three, so that puts it down to eight. And cover affects their armor, so that all I now need is an 8. And it has a rate of fire of 3, so if I hit any better than that, it will affect the, as many as I go. And I do. So, um, five. 5, that is 3 difference in the rate of fire. So all 3 of these models will be hit. I can actually hit through those aspects there. Uh, Alright, now I'll we'll try to wound them. Now I need, now the cover comes into play. Their armor 2 versus strength 6, so it'd be 4. But because of the armor reducing by level one, now I need three lowers to wound the models. I'm going to use a command point to reroll the six. I'm going to use another command point to reroll the five. Jeez. And that will kill the three models. Are you sure you don't want to try another command point to? Uh, um, there's not much else more I can do that. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> but, so three of those guys will finally die in that. So they've been brought down low. So they'll have to make a morale check, but they can do it off of the commanders. 
which was nine. Run away! Yep. Run away! They lost three models, so that'll be on a six. Two dice? Yep, two dice, six or lower. So uh, seven. They can use their own command point to drop it one dice, so it make it a f nope. So that goes six to a five. You can actually change the effect oh. of the die. Okay, so drop to a five, yeah. and that puts me a six. So they will pass the, the last model will pass his morale and survive. And that's basically the commander saying, "You run, and I will shoot you and make you the last one." Yeah. So, so you're, not leaving, you're not leaving this. I'm not doing this by myself. All right. Uh, so we're gonna have the small machine gun fire from these guys. They are range 18 away from the forward observer, who's still trying to get himself into position. Already with two wounds. Yes, already two wounds. So they're, uh, so I said 18, so it'll be, 12 will be minus one, because it's a six range weaponry. Recruits are not as good, they're not gonna be as accurate. So they are range 10. <laughs> So that's nine. He had an armor. No recruits I've ever trained. <laughs> My recruits are accurate. And he is armor four, so that puts it down to a five. So they need a five or a lower to hit this guy. And, and they even fail. But I'm going to use their one command to reroll the six. Molly, you roll the whole thing. That's the whole shot. And that is a six, so I'll use a command point here to make it, uh, I'm going to use two, so we just do a full strength hit on him. And that will get us down to the, uh, the five that we need to really nail him. If it was the same value, the strength of the weapon is Chances modified really by short, minus yeah. one. Um, so we have it at its full strength, so it automatic fire. So the strength of the weapon is five. His his uh, armor is two. So I need to roll three or less to finally put the last wound on. Come on, double sixes. Actually, it's uh, two hits on because of the there are more models in the group. So I have two chances. Oh, that's and we definitely got him. So he is dead. The observer has perished in this manner. Great job! You did your work. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. So we'll, uh, I think what we'll do is I'll check, but I think we're going to fire a spray, a fireball, into, you can't see the guy at all, so, uh, yeah, we'll call it that. We'll give, uh, we'll give Spectre Fed some chance here. <laughs> Turn three. Alright. Down, but not out. <laughs> I still got three guys left, uh, which is slightly less than half of what I started with. Um, kind of expected the squad to get hit and go down quickly. Um, not that quickly, so uh, good to see how quickly that works, and that'll help me uh, plan in the future. Yeah, the uh, leaders are, are pretty potent. Yeah. Both, both uh, On all three uh, factions, they can, uh, they can really bring it up. Um, so, I'm going to go on Overwatch. With my uh, redeemer over here, since he can't, he can only move or shoot, not both. Um, given the proximity of those guys, it's in his best interest to kind of hang out where he's at. Um, slight PTSD from seeing his buddy go down and not being able to help him out. Uh, over here, on the other hand, is a different story. Um, these guys can move and shoot, so. I'm gonna just oh jeez well, yeah I'll slide him forward a little bit staying in cover not going the full range and then my commander is going to we can move at multiple angles correct yeah and he also has a grab pack so oh he's got a grab pack so he'll launch the grab pack. And still no firing on his part because he is hiding. But he can use a command point to go and overwatch as well. Um, and he will do that because if the sniper exposes himself. Yep. So the commander is using a command point to go into overwatch, hoping the sniper decides to expose himself. And uh, that'll give him a chance to go on a shot. 
So, movement is done. No line of sight there, no line of sight here. Do have line of sight back to with my one last remaining poor hapless soul back at the commander. He has moved forward slightly and is now at a 25 range. Okay, so we establish at the range he's at is a uh, minus two. And with his weapon versus the armor, I need a five or lower to hit. Double ones. There's a six. And okay. I got no command points. But he can use the command point from his commander. Uh, so he can drop it down to the five. He we needs. will use a command point. Okay, so it's minus one strength on the part of the beam. Unless you want to spend another command point on the commander. To at least make it so he um, it'll be full strength. Gonna do that. Since okay. I'm already hitting and hurting, we're gonna use the two right. command points and give every bonus that I can take at this point. Alright. He's in range, he hit. Three or less. Two. So the commander is wounded. He's wounded. Boom. The director, I should say. The director. Producer. Yeah, you guys are more like uh, command military pe factions. <laughs> this Lanthos and the Reclaimers are. We're more of, um, yeah, more of our own self-proclaimed uh, <laughs> leaders. <laughs> All right, so Reclaimers' turn is over. Uh, we still got to do morale on the leader now because nope. he did get shot and Take wounded. Down. So he is at leadership nine. Took a wound for minus one, so he needs an eight or lower. And he will use his command point. Good thing he had one left over to re-roll that, because otherwise he would have failed. And he passes at a six. All right. All right. Let's see if we can continue to turn up the pressure. We got three guys to hunt down. Commander's gonna move himself over, get himself ready, followed by the heavy weapon specialist. And these guys will move into position. Alrighty, so this guy is not an Overwatch. He had fired and a quick wound. Man, he can't see me. Not. Um, let's see where's that. Oh, the commander needs to regenerate two more of his command points back. The squad regenerates its command point back because they're not really falling back. Cleanup phase. All right, let's see what we got here. So we're now at 20, 20 inches. Actually, 22 from the 24 from the last model. Um, let's check the stats again. That is a uh, corporate rifle six. So it's gonna be like, let's say 24. So that's minus two for that last model. Uh, their ability is to cruise. Ten. I'll get this down. <laughs> Ten. So eight. And your armor is uh, your defense. I think was. It wasn't good. <laughs> wasn't good. Not against the director, but possibly better against. Uh... Oops. Probably better against the. Uh... Finish is, is three. Finish so they need a five. Hopefully, one of them's facing the wrong way, so no mess. Yeah, she's actually staring at the wall. So five or less. Nine. Oh, it's a complete mess. We're gonna we're gonna take a shot because I think we're we're okay with some of the areas of rat. Yeah, oh, they're doing completely mess. So they're not gonna be able to hit. Sweet. So we are gonna go with the sniper. Oh, uh, not so sweet. Yeah, he's gonna try <laughs> to help out with that. So his is uh, 13. He should only be at 26. So he's only gonna be at minus one. So it's like 12. So he's a nine or less. He's gonna That's a clobber five. the guy. So it's a strength ten. Armor's uh, two with the cover. Makes it a seven. So anything but a six, and that dude is dead. So he blasted that, and uh, he got a shot off. He got a wound. <laughs> it wasn't a complete loss, so I guess that's not bad. Yeah. And just in case, this guy will. Uh, can't move or shoot, so we're gonna he's gonna pop smoke in front of his own unit to cover them, the director. That's what we hitched there. So that's that's really it. 
you're on. All right, dire straits. My uh, cannon fodder has been foddered and they're gone. Um, but I'm not completely out. I'm gonna go for uh, one last chance here. And can I get up there? Yeah. I'm gonna grab pack. Oh yeah, go grab pack. Up. In my Overwatch. And I'm gonna do the same. He doesn't have one. He doesn't have a grab pack, you're right. <laughs> so. He is not a move and shoot, so we're gonna go hug the corner here. But he can't go back on Overwatch. Correct? Alright. Alright, so he is done. Commander is uh, actually has no line of sight from where he's at on any of these models because he's at the edge of the plateau, but he does have a clear line of sight of the Nemesis, <laughs> aka Sniper, at a 19. Okay. All right. So after a quick rule check, we're established at the distance he's at, seven or lower. Nine. Nine. So it takes, you can throw a command point out. to reroll. To reroll. <laughs> <laughs> One more command point. Oh, you'd be without. Wow. But. In case you're wondering, the crossroad symbol is uh, our sixes. I rolled two of them. Last time, no command points. And a seven. Seven. Got it. Um, <clears throat> you should actually have two more because you started. You, I did, I should have regenerated. So. You might want to at least use one more to knock it down to a uh, six. That's now full strength of the weapon. Yes. All right, now let's go check the wound capacity. All right, we are giving the sniper a plus one because he's got his special ability dug in, and we established that sniper doesn't actually stand up like that. He's probably laying prone. Yeah. So I need a four or less. I've been rolling. I barely get it. So you got it though. But now it's a D3 wound, so drop another die. It's gonna be so that two. Two. So the sniper has three wounds. You can gamble. Spend your command point and do the same thing I did. Um I have complete reroll, yep. so I will try and see if I can at least get three and not Five one. Or six. No, I get one. only got one wound on him. Alright. So I gambled so, and not pay off. So he's wounded. Sniper is hit. He is a loner, so he can't use any other command points from anybody else. He is wounded, though. Leadership. Morale is 8, so now he needs a 7. And he passes. Easily. It's just a flash wound. Yep. Alright. That's that. Command point. He doesn't use a command point. So. Alright. If you want to have mercy on me, I would, wouldn't mind. <laughs> All right, so we'll see what happens. Um, yeah, I can see. So new game, so fun though. It's getting really into it. The director has five wounds. We're gonna get, we're gonna give this guy his, his world of love. I'm gonna walk right in front of him. With my four command points. Oh, I see you. Well, yeah. I'm not going to move him first. We'll, we'll, we'll <laughs> yeah, it's a little... I'm going to give him this dude, because he hasn't done anything anyways. And see if he lives, he gets to do something. If he doesn't, he dies. You go know. first. Huh? Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> we got to check this guy's weapon out. So we have the Redeemer. His rate of fire is 12. He's got the Stalker missile. He will have no penalty, because he's uh, right at point blank range. <laughs> so... And he's starting at range six. He's well in that range. Uh, the defense value of the so-called heavy weapons is a four. So what did I just say? A nine, you need a nine, I think, to, to knock this guy. Uh, so four. So you need eight. Eight or lower. Uh, pops the uh, heavy special guy. An eight. He just got an eight. So it's a <laughs> Jesus. So the weapon is at uh, strength six. Cause, uh, I'm not good at golf dice where the lowest score <laughs> counts, one. as you can tell. Um, the heavy weapon guy has an armor of one. So 
it is actually uh, five. So on a five or lower, um, he's dead. Oh, he's a little Oh my god, I didn't roll six. So he's wounded. <laughs> the stalker missile is uh, area effect, so it actually only has one. Oh, but it actually does more wounds. So he will actually take a wound. And he is a three wound model, so he's actually alive. I'm taking what I can get right now, the way things are going. Wasn't a bad deal. Um, he's going to use his flamer weapon on him. So that's an area three. Oh, I don't like it. Like the center hole. Well, we did this one. So he has to like roll for that pretty much to get to, to get the accurate hit. It'll be the same thing here. So. The uh, heavy weapon specialist is rare fire 13. Uh, he's in easy range. The redeemer has a defense of two, so I will need nothing but box cars. Not as long as I get box cars. So he's directly hit at a strength seven weapon. Um, defense value of him is two, so I will need a five or less. That's an easy wound. Special than that, just even more like area effect weapons. But he remains in play, so he's actually in a bubble of fire. <laughs> bubble of fire. <laughs> That's not fun. Uh, I think he has a couple wounds. He's a three-wound model too, so yeah. He's again wounded. But his overwatch now is off. That will give the commander time to move up. And Fire on him, so he'll need typical commander hops in at the end and takes yeah, all absolutely. the. Yeah, uh, absolutely. Take the glory. Take, take the glory, glory from everybody. Thirteen, so he needs uh, eleven or lower. So he definitely had that. Eleven or lower, not two dice. <laughs> yeah, good luck. We get a five. Um, with a laser rifle. So. It's got real five. So heal him three times. At strength six. So I need four or less. Yes. The split tactic that I employed at the beginning of this game is obviously not working the way I wanted. So those are the two wounds to kill. Two more wounds. Three total. He only had three. Oh, look at that. They're retreating. They're retreating. <laughs> <laughs> They're backing up. Now we can see him in cover. We're going to give him harder cover, though, so the uh, two. Uh, it's at 19. So it will be the minus uh, one to their rate of fire. For recruits, that means they need a nine with his armor value. And if you haven't noticed, sitting next to the commander, there are no command points. So this is probably not going to go too yeah, well. He does have five wound uh, capability. So no matter what they do, uh, well, I should say no matter what they do. I just, I just jinxed myself. So they need six or lower, He's gonna be down. but they're pretty far out of their command range as well. Eight. Um, that's going to miss. We're going we're gonna to take the command and reroll, see what happens. And a six. Hey, just uh, got but they won't get any more additional hits, and the strength of the weapon is also lower. So it's strength six versus his armor value of two. So it'll be five because of the modifier down to two. They need three or lower on one die. <laughs> Did get the wound? That's a one if you can't tell. Yeah. So hey, get the wound. So he has a no wound on him as well, which is pretty key. The sniper hasn't shot yet. And then the sniper is going to take a shot at him. He's only going to be minus one. And uh, he hits with a strength 10 weapon. He'll need anything but a six. It does. It's a D3 weapon. Three. Ooh, and and two. Reroll that. Come on. Oh. So there's the big three. So he's got four wounds on him. And he's down to one wound left. <laughs> Plus, at a morale of minus because he's been shot now by two models, uh, two <laughs> units. So he's been shot and demoralizing. It's minus five total. He's got a morale of nine. He's gonna need a four or a five, four, 
Five. So four or less on two dice with no command points. I got this. Oh my god, he did get this. <laughs> That's right. He ain't running away. He's going down. He's commander. That's that's all the shooting. That, that, that's all the shooting. <laughs> He's got four wounds. Just but I can fire back at least once. There are two guys left. <laughs> all right. That uh, that's a pretty quick and uh, a lot a lot of things that we've got us thrown into it. That's how, like I said, that was our first game. Um, we want to do uh, yeah, we wanted to to play the game out as we learn the rules because it's easier to grasp them. Um, we both sat down beforehand, read over the rules. But like trying to put together a, uh, a a playground set or something. If you're not actually yeah. physically doing it, reading the rules aren't going to do you a whole lot. So we wanted Honestly. to play it out. Um, as you can see, we you know we apologize for a lot of the delays uh, and everything. But uh, overall, great game. I, I like yeah. the quickness of it. I mean, I'm a fan of games that take a while and allow you to move and and, and all that. But I'm also a fan of games that you can throw down half hour to an hour. Games over. Yeah, this throw around another game if you, if you want to. Small amount of mood and, and better terrain, of course. Today. We'll try to get that to you guys. Um, we'll definitely make a major more effectiveness. There's a lot of open area, which, but had it, I like a game where I've been finding a couple of other ones that are alternative to other other systems. That this game plays like real combat. You know, people walk around in the open with energy beams and laser weapons and machine guns firing, are just not going to live. Uh, and unless you're going against a squad of stormtroopers, you're not going to live yeah, exactly. just being out in the open. And, uh, right. you know, as you saw, my demise, my troops came right across the bridge. Uh, I had a little bit of cover with the trees, and uh, it wasn't enough. They went down quickly. Yeah. Uh, but that's the thing it is. You know, this isn't a video game where you can get hit and then regenerate yeah. and, and keep going and going and, and respawning. Now these guys... There's a lot of strategy that needs to be involved in this. And, and uh, dice rolls do play effect. I rolled really well in a lot of my aspects there. Uh, we both did really good morale. Um, I know I most, I've seen a couple of bat reps where the morale was just like bam bam, and people are pretty much uh, running away and trying to hide and stuff like that. Uh, we did amazingly well in a lot of our situations with that. Um, but uh, you know, I'm I'm a gaming. I have a gaming experience uh, a little bit more than than us. Uh, Spectre Fed sends, so I try to keep things close together. I had a little philosophy of trying to move around. I did know that the Petro Morales Corporation had smoke, so that really allows them to advance on, um, on on enemy units. But I think with this terrain, it was a little limited, and it was still the last turn that the commander had got to use the um, the grab pack to get on. Yeah, I, I think um, you know hindsight's always twenty twenty. Um, I should have thought about the grab packs a little bit more. Um, I probably still would have split the two squads, yep. but I think in the very first sets of movement, I should have grab packed my uh, Ford Absorber to the uh, the larger plateau. Um, it would have been harder for him to be seen yep. outside of the sniper, um, but he would have had a better uh, overview of everybody, and that would have allowed his uh, Redeemer to sit back and kind of uh, uh, pluck away if necessary. Yeah. Um, I also had the experience to hunt down. I, I knew for the Reclaimers the Ford Observer is the hinging part to the uh, the, the Redeemer. Without the Ford Observer, the Redeemer is, is a much more difficult model to use. Uh, again, this is why we do bat reps. Yeah, research these things, <laughs> you watch these videos, you know what to look for. And that was one of the things I kind of knew. Really. Yeah, absolutely. Plan ahead. And, uh, <laughs> you know, if you've got the terrain and you, you want to extend your battle a little bit, and if you only have the uh, starter packs as we did, uh, definitely go with the, a more cityscape. Um, there's line of sight. I mean, you can use the whole board. You do get uh, the hindrance, the minus ones, minus twos. But uh, if you're rolling well, you could be at a minus five, and you, you're going to plug someone across the board. Yeah. So uh, my my rolls against Specter in bat reps is, is still you know very well. <laughs> it seems to be my charm in that aspect. Against other challengers, maybe maybe not so much, but uh, it works well here. But the box sets were very set and even. Uh, we checked them out earlier. Yeah, we didn't mention it. We uh, we both ran with approximately 225 mm -hmm. points yep. um, using the full uh, seven fig uh, box sets yep. for the starters. Um, and it was basically the full price of the figs and then the yep. added grav packs for... Uh, yeah, I was able to get a couple of smoke grenades for a couple of my, uh, my units. Uh, you've got two grav things and stuff like that. Uh, there's obviously more you can do that. You can use more command points, spending and stuff like that. So there's a lot of diversity. 
Uh, I'm going to break this uh, system down more. I'm going to check out the uh, things that we can get a hold of and maybe see if we can open up the, um, the realm so you can see maybe possibly the second wave coming through for uh, dark potential. Uh, we need to see a lot of those things come in. There's a couple of things I've seen in prior bat reps before the real models were released, which were the secondary sub commanders, which play a big part in the game because one of the things is using that sub command points, so that helps a lot in in keeping the structure where you have more, more units than the one. See, with the starter box it's easy because you have one group of, of the recruits or initiates to kind of hinge around. In bigger games, your, your commander has to try to do two or three, he kind of needs that sub-commander to do that, plus some extra special weaponry and stuff like that, and it makes it pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah absolutely, as uh, we both um, uh, get more models, we'll have uh, a larger scale. Uh, at those points, we'll have a better grasp of the rules as well. Yeah, much better but, grasp. Uh, <laughs> Um, you know, again, throw some comments down on the video, uh, help us out with uh, areas that we missed horribly, if there were any, um, or any suggestions that you have, outside of better strategy on my part, save me the time, I know it wasn't the best. Uh, yeah. We're more focused on, we want to get the rolls down and uh, throw down some real good... Uh, yeah, we learn from you guys when you guys comment, so definitely don't be afraid to comment what we, uh, we didn't see right and what we're misinterpreting. Cause Again, this, uh, the next reports will be better for you, so if we're playing the system right, you, uh, you'll see the models acting more appropriately, and we want to definitely get that opportunity. And brother versus brother, for those of you keeping count, yep. I am now 0-2. <laughs> but he has a chance, uh, you can go against you can still beat on Inspector Wild, because Inspector Wild has the, 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 lanth the Lanthos, <laughs> so there is still dark potential in potential with my brother keeping his record versus Spectre Wild. And if you see the last uh, 40k bat rep as a comment to that aspect there, letting the Spectre Wild really go on. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys again soon. More dark potential down the road. Subscribe. <laughs>